Oh, the Shulker. The Shulker is essentially enemy numero uno, the big baddie, the ultimate guard of Minecraft's best wing item in the entire game. Hi, hope you're doing well, everybody, as we waddle. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. In today's adventure, the target is this gigantic city. We find ourselves at the doorstep of it. In the last episode, we went on a big grand adventure and found, like, <laughs> pretty much the Picasso painting of End City. Look at this thing. It's so picturesque. It, like, looks absolutely amazing. I could, I could paint this in my dreams and <laughs> paint it over again. But enough talkie talkie blocks. The first move that we need to make once we actually locate an end city is stock up on blocks. Depending on how large your end city is, you might need to get a little bit more blocks. I'm thinking for a pretty grand end city like this, hopefully, maybe, something like three stacks or maybe even a little bit more should be valid. As we'll, I'm sure, end up finding out in today's adventure, blocks are going to be like one of the greatest tools for moving around the city and actually preventing potential terrible disasters. But that's not all. Another potentially amazing tool for preventing, preventing terrible disasters is the chorus fruit. We talked a tiny bit about this thing in the last episode, but basically, it's a teleportation device. If we say ended up getting teleported really high, we started falling. I could simply eat one of these things if I was quick enough and be teleported to a land block nearby. Now really, aside from those two things, the very final thing I want to do is make sure the inventory is stocked up and ready to go. Blocks are on the hotbar, every other essential tool on the hotbar. Maybe some of them not essential, off the hotbar. I think all that we need left is a tiny bit of action. The end city is a hazard, very big dangers, because unfortunately, over here, out here in the end, there's nothing like a bed to set or spawn or a respawn anchor. That means we've got one shot and one shot only at this big city. Now, every end city, it's going to generate the same, but a little bit different. Unfortunately, tragically, sometimes they don't have a ship. If it doesn't have a ship, immediately, you know, there's not going to be an elytra in the entire city. However, every city will begin the same, with a door on the ground, three-tiered section, and two guards, Johnny and Gilbert, sitting right out front of this thing. Big move number one, it's intense dramatic sprinting music, we do it for a reason. These guards are gonna shoot bullets at me. If I can get inside of this thing though, whoa, 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 if I get inside of it, I get an advancement and I get a little bit more safe. Oh my, Johnny and Gilbert, have you created Samantha? A new child? Shulker, shulker. When the shell is open, it has a little bit less health. This sword is really not optimized for the shulker. You'll have to excuse me. You, dear friend, why have you sent yourself away? Come back. You're meant to be the guard. You're supposed to stop me. <laughs> you darn fool. Levitation bullet things, though. These things. Not good. If you're good with your sword and quick or your bow, you could take them out before you get hit. In an ideal and perfect world, we end up never getting hit by these things because they're dangerous. So the levitation effect, when it hits you from one of these balls, is going to be applied for about 10 seconds. 10 seconds is, uh, you know, that's a whole lot of time to fly all the way up into the air and then be dropped right back down. If you got feather falling, maybe it's a little bit less scary, but... Shulker, Shulker, why did you abandon your fortress before I move? Oh, you did do it. You did it. There's three of them right at the entrance. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't believe it. We witnessed the birth of a life right at the beginning of the city. This is a true sign for something great to come. All right, but carefully. Maybe my fixation is getting the best of me, but carefully. I want to take out all the guards right at the beginning of the city. The Shulkers, they can duplicate. In a big, grand end city like this one right here, the duplication might actually lead us to having like a like a million and one shulkers too, which means even more shells for me, which is beautiful. Big tip to maximizing end city loot, it's kind of out of your control. You're gonna need to find a large, large end city. Like, the bigger the better. The bigger the city, the more shulkers, the more boxes. Now immediately, now that we're inside of the city and with two shells, I wanna get the inventory a little bit more sorted out. Shulker boxes, these shells are one of the best things in the world because they allow you to make a shulker box. And inside of a shulker box, oh boy, if you don't know, you can put things inside of it. Then you can pick that box up and the things stay inside of the box and basically expands our inventory. Theoretically, we could put something like 36 boxes in my inventory <laughs> and have 36 size inventory. It's amazing. All right, but anyways, this time we hunkered down and take it a little bit more serious. We approach the very first vertical climb of this entire structure. This structure, it's all about parkour, vertical, and height. Parkour, smarkour, this is a piece of cake. Every single jump, perfectly timed, perfectly turned, perfectly land. I could do this in my sleep practically. I am the king here. I'm the boss. At the top of every one of these spiral staircases, we find another one of you dear friends. Goodbye. 
And then, unfortunately, the top of these stairwells like this always going to be a dead end. They can move out of the fortress, but probably because of levitation, I'm definitely not going to do that. One of the biggest things that moves you want to do is stay inside of the city at all times today. Don't leave it. All right, so let's backtrack a little bit. I saw a crossroads right here. We got that option, that option, or this option. I'm thinking maybe blind going for it. We're going for this one. We're going to charge all the way across. The guardsman has been moved, and here we are in a big room. Any treasure, any loot in here? No, no loot, no treasure for me. Ah, oh, man. Hmm. You teleport. Shulker teleportation can be a little bit annoying to deal with. You see, they can teleport, and when they teleport anywhere within 17 by 17 by 17 blocks, maybe that ends up being inside of the city. Otherwise, it's probably going to be outside of the city, and uh, all those noises, I think, are more shulkers being born. <laughs> Let's see. By my calculations, that is the roof right here. If we just go ahead and break it out and keep those, you can go away. No, 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 no. no. Hurry up, buddy. Open a shell. Open a shell. No. 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 Stop teleporting. Leave me alone. It's a nightmare. All right. So this is one of those situations where this little fruit might actually help. It might eat this thing. Okay. Well, that actually did the reverse. It sent me higher up. I need to get back in before I fall off the thing and unfortunately on life move move quickly oh boy there are so many of them where are you guys all coming from no 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 allow me back into your house please, please, please. i'm just mere visitor i'm a mere visitor inside of house i stay under the awning the whole time it's not a problem get out of here get out of here there's too many of you huge move to move back down is water when you're inside of water levitation it does not work we could use water a little cleverly to like just dump it and move a little bit lower back down into the city. You buddy, go away. <laughs> Stop teleporting. Yeah, so I I guess if I had a sharpness sword, I could take them out a little bit quicker and they'd probably teleport less, eh? Or alternatively, if I have a good strong weapon and maybe deal a lot of damage to them real quick, I could use that too. However, if I use this big strong weapon just like this, there's no looting enchantment on this thing, and that's absolutely not gonna maximize the amount of shells we get. You see, on Minecraft to Java, every single shulker has the chance to drop one shell. But that's the thing, it's only a chance to drop a shell. By default, it's gonna be a 50-50 chance. However, if we take it out with, say, a little bit of looting, we could maximize that all the way up to, like, about 69% chance. All right, so did the trick, did it work? Did it work? No, I don't think it worked. I think, unfortunately, it's gone. <laughs> and these guys, thinking of gone, you're done too. The bow is so much more handy at wiping these things out. Please, levitate over the city. Please. Just like, leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone for a little bit. Uh, you're sending me right to the prize, aren't you? <laughs> Are we really gonna go there? Are we really gonna go there? You're really gonna send me there, huh? Well, this is not what I had planned for making my way all the way up to the elytra, but I would love to make my way to the elytra like this. Please, every once in a while, I could time it and move around these things and, you know, get teleported, and then maybe once I'm here, I could eat the chorus and send... No. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Ah, so anyways, where were we? A beautiful little trick that is also... Uh, ow, be careful with the shulkers at the top of the thing. If they're closed, uh, your arrow will bounce off of them and hurt you. Haha, <laughs> anyways, a beautiful little trick. If I got the sword in the main hand, a bow in the off hand, looting is still applied, even if I took it out with, say, an arrow. Which means my Power 5 bow, the Annihilator, that will take everything out immediately, this is one of the biggest clutches of all time. I think what I'm gonna do to maybe distinctify that I've already been up there is place a block that'll stand out. That way, when I end up getting sent uh, back inevitably down to the bottom of the fortress and I gotta go back up, I know that I've been up there. This room at the end city is one of the most disappointing ones of all time. Aside from a guard, it's literally just a dead end. Nothing inside of the city. I wonder if I could get the armor trim today, too. I just thought of it. It looks like on the flip side of this thing, we've got exactly the same setup. A shulker guarding an empty room, and the shulker, of course, you coward. You try and run. Looting is not fair, though. It's busted. Over on Minecraft Bedrock, one of the best things the Bedrock gang has is looting, increasing the amount of shells total that a shulker could drop. All the way up to four per single shulker. Oh, I almost missed that. I almost missed it. It did drop a, drop a shell when I shot it. It did. Come with me, please. All right, so let's think about this. We cleared that wing. We cleared that wing. This one was a dead end. Unfortunately, we got so close. It looks like to continue moving up the city, I'm probably going to have to backtrack and go down there. For now, though, hey, for now, though, small friend. Oh, okay. All right, so getting high up here, we could maybe try and do it. Should I do it? Do I use the shulker at the top of the thing to send me over the ship? Uh, I feel like it might not work. 
All right, so here's my move. Here's my big thinking. You right here, dear friend, you're gonna... I'm gonna go all the way up here. You hit me with levitation. We're gonna move. We're gonna quickly drift off to the side here. There's a couple more shulkers. You, it would be a shame if you hit me. No, please don't. I'm in the open. Wide open. <laughs> on, the, on the top of the city. Don't hit me. Aha, there we go. It took a minute. We get hit by one bullet, and I think what I could do is drift all the way over here. Please, do the trick. Do the thing. Yes, thank you. That should be more than enough. Now, allow me to enter the ship, please, dear friend. Don't do it. Don't hit me. Oh, no, you hit me. Oh, it's almost like I wanted that to happen. Oh, you didn't know what you did, but you just gave me the best prize of the entire day. I stand under this thing and wait for it to go away. Piece of cake. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> well, it may be easier said than done. As long as I stay above the ship, I won't be sent down to the ground and unfortunately my demise, right? As long as I stay up here, I should be good and valid. Just leave me alone. All right, so levitation. As we can see there, it could be our little friend. If we're smart and clever with levitation, open up. Do what I dare you. Open up. Nah, this is what I thought. If we're smart and clever with levitation, we could actually use it to our advantage to get all the way up to the big prize. Inside of this city, the real deal, the actual thing that we really want is inside of this ship. If we go ahead and do a little rotation, always you'll find instant health potions here. Big clutch. And you'll find a guard inside of this room. Not so fast. Open up, friend. Open up. You go away. And then just like that, an elytra is sitting right there on the wall. This thing, you are the ultimate good thing. But maybe we double it up. Please give me an armor trim. Armor trim. Come on. You give me another chance. Give me an armor trim. I am miserable. Wait. No, I'm not. Ha <laughs> And just like that, the big prize of the entire city, we've got it. Now, the number one thing that I recommend doing as soon as you lock this prize in is really double it up and lock it in for real this time. The E-chest, I brought it with me very, very intentionally. Inside of that shulker box, I've got the Elytra. I'm going to go ahead and drop that inside of the Ender chest because now, if anything tragic happens to me, it didn't ever happen to me. At least the most important loot, the loot that is, like, potentially really difficult to mine, it's not going to go anywhere. Now, very carefully, I need to make my way back over to the other part of the city. This bow, I think this is going to deal a little bit more damage to you, isn't it, buddy? Two shots and you're done. Now, the rest of the city, how could I do this here? <laughs> oh, hold up. Before I do that, greed has yet again tempted me. Up on the top of the ship, I can hear these shulkers bouncing around and replicating and duplicating. I think there's another one over here. Absolutely. And how could I almost forget the other prize on the tip of the ship? I almost completely forgot. No way. Right from where the Elytra once resided, we're going to go ahead and break this wall out. Then we're going to be on the front of the ship, the bow of it, the bow of it, however you want to call it. Whoa. Oh, you watch it, buddy. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Give me back over the ship. All right, bucko buddy. Bucko buddy, you got to go away. I don't even care if, oh, if the shell falls to the ground. I need you to just not make me fall to the ground. I'm the star of the show. I'm a star. Leave me alone. All right, take two. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely not alone still. But maybe we can move quickly and just pull this off. Build a couple blocks out over this thing. Very perilous here. A couple blocks. Not think about how far down. Not shoot arrow. Build a couple blocks we build out over here we're gonna double it up with a ton of extra blocks to make sure it doesn't fall off the edge of this thing that we break it and pick it up as quick as possible after that same trick as before inside of the ender chest you go nice and safe so anyways we use our environment to our advantage here the ender pearl this is another great thing that we could use if we're in like a bad situation maybe flying in the wrong spot to teleport back around the city it worked out pretty nice i stand on the ledge and i wait and you, you are of no longer any use to me. I'm sorry about that. You need to leave. All right, so, so far, we've got the big prize. Check done and out of the way. That's beautiful. And I finish off this wing of the tower, I think, completely. I think I, I absolutely need to go to that wing of the tower. That wing of the tower, 100% untouched as well. I think maybe this one might be a little bit shorter. This is a big fun room to check out. So, maybe let's figure out this part of the tower next. <laughs> <laughs> their noises, their noises. I will never get used to their noises. Ever since these noises were added to Minecraft, like what, million trillion years ago? Like, <laughs> it's still like one of the funniest sounding things of the entire game to me. I love it. 
Alrighty, anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and parkour perfectly right over to this wing of the tower. First things first, you gotta go away. Two shots in the bow, you're done. Move into the tower and we're safe. Oh, yes, finally, a treasure room. This room is gonna be loaded up with a bunch of shulkers. The bow, you're no man, you're no man, you go away. Inside of the treasure room, we will always have a chest right here and an e-chest, please, please. End armor trim right here. No, it's not there. I mean, look, loot is still looted. I'll take it. And a handy little ender chest right here. I'll go ahead and open it and put some other stuff in it. Sure. So one of the really cool things about this shulker duplication mechanic is, uh, as you can hear here, you are basically just existing inside of the city, being near a wall. Even if they're on the outside of the wall, they don't know or care, and they'll continue shooting. Because of their relative bird brainness, you can hear when it happens, the teleportation mechanic thing. Uh, that's basically the birth of another shulker. And yeah, basically what I'm saying is you could sit inside of this city kind of almost forever and just farm this thing. End city, end city. I don't know if it's just me and my own, like, ideas that I made up when I was younger, but I always used to think that, like, the blocks inside of the city are really special. Like, you can't get them. The chiseled one, the end rod, everything like that, but we could actually farm the stuff back over at home, and 100%, that's gonna be the move. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could also probably, I'm pretty sure you could also probably just craft this banner back at home. It's not that fancy or complex of a pattern, but it's a little bit more cool, I feel like. Come with me. It's a little bit more cool to, to just like take them from the tower, right? Steal them. I feel like four is a pretty good number. I, let's go with four. I could always make more at home. Maybe the armor trim. I'm not gonna get it, am I? All right, now, on any normal end tower excavation, this would be a prime spot right here for moving. We would make our way over to this spot, and then this is where you're actually meant to launch yourself over to the boat. Usually, I would say, like, build a block, or maybe if you're bold, to do an ender pearl all the way over to the boat. If you aim for the ladder, you should probably, hopefully, hit the ladder and fall right onto the deck, but... Levitation. I mean, it's the easy way. And speaking of easy way, this room, it's marked by a lot of purple on the outside. It can be a little bit taller or a little bit shorter. You can kind of see inside of that room, it's going to be a big chamber. That's one of the coolest rooms, most fun battles in the entire city. The normal way you approach this thing is from the bottom. You climb up and then battle your way into the room. And the easy way to approach this thing is going to be like this. We take an ender pearl and we approach it from the top. Over here on this side of the city. This is the final wing of the city, by the way. And from over here, what I'm going to do is backtrack first. With the king of the tower, the guard taken out, all we need to do is backtrack our way back down. Working down through this city. Whoa, another treasure room. Oh, my, and a lot of friends, too. Oh, I forgot that I wasn't levitating. Funny how that works out, you get so used to it. Hey, buddy, open up, any of you. Uh, you get an arrow, you get an arrow, you get another arrow, you get another arrow. Everyone gets an arrow. <laughs> hey, buddy, where do you come from? I'm trying to not levitate. Hey, excuse me, buddy. Here it is, I can feel it. This is the one armor trim. Beetroot seeds, I meant to say beetroot seeds. Exactly what I was hoping for and dreaming for. Yep, beetroot seeds. Anyways, it's showtime, the amazing room. We're gonna run up here real quick. There's gonna be shulkers all over the place. Our job, one job only, shoot at every single one of them. Take them out before they can replicate, duplicate. This room could be a nightmare, a disaster. We stay inside of the room. We stay calm and break into the top treasure room. No, no, I said break into the, no, 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 not what I meant, not what I meant. All right, well, now I just need to dodge levitation for a minute. Uh, there's no big deal. Dodge levitation for a minute, I said. Stop it, leave me alone. Stop it, stop it. Everybody, leave me alone, stop it. You not get a message? Alternatively, I could use this ender pearl to try and teleport back into the city, and it didn't work. It was stay calm. It's fine. It's no big deal. I can fly all day long. As long as I stay fed and my health is full, it's, it's good and valid. Uh, stop with the bullets, please. I, I, I get it. I get it. You can make me fly. It's very amazing. amazing. 
I guess the, um, the good thing about levitation is when you levitate really far up, they, like, stop shooting eventually. I think the Feather Falling Boots got this thing, right? The Feather Falling Boots got it. Yeah, they got it. I can't imagine trying to take this thing on without uh, Feather Falling, though. That would be, like, really, really dangerous, I feel like. Anyways, we're back inside of the room. The shells, all of you go away. You stop it. Leave me alone. I'm just an adventurer. I think I might have done it. I think the other shulkers shooting at me are on the outside of the room. I think I... Yeah, they're definitely on the outside. Anyways, here we are. The moment of truth. This is a happy walk over. A sad one. Please, armor trim. Please, one final chance. Armor... Wait. Hey, I could use that as a spider farm. Armor trim. <laughs> armor trim. No. No, 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 no. No. And so, just like that, our adventurer's sad, slow march back home, it began. Beginning with this big central room, he ran around and picked up every single shell, looked around at the levitation bullets still shooting, and said, hey, yeah, I did come back later, make a farm, or something like that. He marched his way out of the tower, alone and afraid. At this point, it's not even a couple extra shulker shells, at the very final pinnacle of the journey today could cheer our adventurer up. Sad and mildly defeated feeling, he backtracked his way all the way through the city, all the way down to the bottom, and decided it was time to head back home sweet home. <laughs> On his way back home, he figured, hey, why not stop and pick up a couple flowers on the way? Pick some flowers to make yourself happy, maybe. Alas, but it was all in vain. Eventually, after a little bit of wandering, it was time for a tiny bit of crafting. Trap door is what was on the menu. You see, you don't need to go back to the starting end gateway. If you found one much closer to your city, you place the trap door, you turn the trap door, you crawl into the thing, and just like that, you're sent back to the central main end island. Before we go back home, sweet home, one real quick thing. I want to double check this area. I can't remember. It's been a minute. I just want to make sure that I have everything that I needed to bring with me back home from this area. I got the copy of the map, all of this stuff. Oh, ender chest. I'll leave it here. All of the loot from today's adventure. Oh, it's so good. But maybe one of the biggest things that I wanted to actually put inside of the city, but I completely forgot. We need a tiny bit of gold. The enchanted stuff that we got, those boots are really good. The shovel, I mean, that's kind of cool. I recently got a shovel, but whatever. Silk Touch is nice. Sword, I could build off of it. This pickaxe, I could build off of it too. Maybe get Silk Touch and Efficiency 5. This one, however, that's going straight to the spider farm. Iron armor and gear, I don't really care about him. The elytra and all of these shells, oh, ah, that's beautiful. Anyways, time and direction is really messed up inside of this dimension. I thought it would be cool to have almost like a little computer right here with the compass just spinning around animated and the clock as well. I don't know. I feel like it just hits. Oh, also, I got a bunch of iron too, but yeah. So <laughs> anyways, our adventure into the end, the big extravaganza. That's just about it. Thank you all so much for watching this episode and this little wing of the series of Small Saga. Sending ourselves all the way back over to home sweet home in the middle of night. Burb. Bonzo, what have you done? Burb, why are you here? Who let you in the building? You had one goal. You had one goal and one goal only. You say you're, you're mad that I stole the energy. Well, listen, pathetic loser. It's right here. What is it? Bonzo, my lad, I thought I could trust you. What have you done? What have you unleashed? My patrons, Fire Dragon 19, Infrasmc, MC, The Great Vegeta, Michael H, CK, Skelly, Wampus, and Gabriel Y. Thank you so much. Until next time, it's been me, Waddles, and Adventurer, Looter, Raider, Extraordinaire. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.